So there are a lot of tech channels out there, but strangely enough, none of them talk about the bare bone basics of a smartphone. So let's put all of these cinematic smartphone reviews in the Android tricks aside and talk of some of the factors that you should consider when buying your first smartphone. And not a lot of people will just put $1000 on the table to buy a new iPhone for their first smartphone. So in this video, we are going to be covering only the Android side of things. So let's just cut the talk and I'll hand it over to my good friend Kostav from KD Cloudy. What's up guys, this is KD Cloudy and whenever you're buying a new smartphone, there's a whole lot you can choose from but one of your main deciding factors is your budget. Now if your budget is in the lower side, suppose 15 to 16k or maybe lower, then you, you first have to prioritize the purpose of the phone like you want it to be good at gaming or do you want it to be good at photos or just casual everyday social media stuff because at this lower price point you basically have dedicated phones you can't have phones which are good good at everything but just good at specific stuff now once you've got to the first pool of smartphones based upon their purpose then you need to make further filtrations or selections based upon what kind of soc they use now the process of the phone and the soc are two things which are used often interchangeably but they're completely different things uh, just to clarify the soc is just a chip which houses all of your system components the cpu the gpu the ram the modem stuff like that which makes your phone function basically now when it comes to selecting an soc for your phone you have a couple of options basically first is the qualcomm snapdragon series second is the mediatek series third is the huawei kirin series and fourth is the exynos series now kirin and exynos are both uh, exclusive to their respective brands and if you want to go a bit diverse, you just end up having these two choices between Snapdragon and MediaTek. Now the general notion is that Snapdragon chips are much more superior in terms of quality, which is actually true because Snapdragon chips always have a higher end GPU, a better quality image significant processor, and they're always up front with cutting edge tech and some stuff like Qualcomm's Quick Charge and all that. And they're basically the most reputed brand of you know mobile chips around the world and when it comes to MediaTek and their Helio lineup and stuff they're mostly uh, targeted towards really inexpensive phones and we've we are seeing uh, some Android Go edition smartphones like the Nokia one using those chips so it's the MediaTek chips are good for stuff like that but yeah honestly if you're planning to spend a little bit more than that then yeah you're better off with Qualcomm chips I have been using phones with Qualcomm processors since 2012 and I haven't been disappointed at all. They have their name in the game so yeah, Qualcomm is the way to go. So feel free to rule out all the MediaTek chips from your pool of smartphones and then uh, decide accordingly. And then once you filter out your preferable Snapdragon phones, then you just need to do a whole bunch of research, watch some reviews, walk into the store, use it. Uh, listen to what other people have to say about that phone and after you're down to just the last two smartphones you're having trouble deciding between just listen to your inner voice what it has to say and just make a decision because after you buy that phone you are least likely to be disappointed so so yeah that's basically it from my side thank you so much for watching thank you so much to Andros for having me in this video and yeah thank you so much for watching cheers